What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Vintage Cube Draft, like you do. Churning through them. We've got f five more steps in the queue right now, so we should be able to get through these. And then I know someone else messaged me on Discord about a step, so I'll definitely have to respond to that. Um, what I'm looking at right now is a rock step from six squirrels, pick a bunch of artifact mana, and some way to abuse it. Would love to see upheaval, but wildfire, balance, winter, etc. also good. Worst case scenario, ramp it to Emrakul and call it a day. That's always fun. Uh, Rylos24 had the opposite step. You can't draft colors with the last deck you played on stream. We just did Esper, so I really don't think a red-green deck is where we want to be in Vintage Cube. So we'll definitely hold off on that one. Fragged Camper has the Salt stipulation. All the Gotham's only two win conditions. It's okay if you lose. Uh, let's unload some of the salt on the community. Um... Jchart82, must draft a monocolored deck. Exceptions can be made for power. That could be good because it's late and maybe we just want to draft mono red. We'll see. We'll see what the first pack looks like and then we'll see what, uh, what might work best. Mox Pearl? All right, well, we're definitely taking Mox Pearl, which I think is our highest open Mox. Oh, God, Michael came back. Put it on the shoes. How do you forget your shoes all the time? Because it's not what you think about. All right, I'll take Mox Pearl. That doesn't really help our situation, so. You want to man? We're trying. I'm trying to figure out what works the best. Okay. Just curious. No, I was just wondering. Yeah, I'll tune up for a little bit. Okay. I'll see you, maybe. I mean, if we're doing the, the pick a bunch of artifact mana, it does work. But unfortunately, there was also a metal worker in that pack. Which I presume will not come back. Metal worker in that pack. I presume it won't come back. This is my favorite meme right now. Oh, bribery. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We can work in night by night. I think bribery is the pick here for sure. Still doesn't really fit any of the stipulations currently. Pack two, pick one, soaring. That'd be nice. Could draft a mono color. Could draft mono blue. It's definitely an option. I mean, if we get past consecrated sphinx, which we are, uh, f which 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 is frequent. I mean, it's a, that's an option. Control magic. All right, so it's a thing. Yeah, there's no artifact mana so far. So, so the the, the brown the rock step is out. Uh, the opposite step is out. The mono color deck is possibly in, and the all the Gotham's is also possibly in. What's the difference in cube and draft? Cube is a form of draft, the same way Ikoria is a set. As Ikoria is a draft set. Um, you know, um, Theros was, you could draft those sets. Cube is the same thing. It's just a different, a different selection of cards to draft. A cube is usually a curated list that people put together. Yes. What Davisor said. So like, let's say, if, you know, Ikoria is 250 cards and you draft those. A cube is 250 cards that you choose specifically and put them all together. So it's not one specific set. It's a bunch of cards that you've chosen. Not you, but like whoever presented the cube. So Wizards of the Coast. And then there's one copy of each card in the cube. Alright, so Maldrifter. Alright, well. 
We have not really had a reason to to, to stray from Muldrifter's light. Golos. How many five drops do we really want, though? Walking Ballista is an option as well. Draft all the Gotems. We could get Mana Tithe. Especially with a Mox Pearl. Does Popper Cube exist? There actually there are Popper Cubes that exist in the world. Yeah, people have made Popper Cubes before. Um, it's not a Magic Online. <coughs> but also on Magic Online, you don't have to supply your own packs. So that's not really relevant. Um... So here's the only problem I have with the, the all the Gotems is having only two win conditions because Bribery and Control Magic are definitely win conditions. And I feel like there's so many cards in the cube that do act as win conditions. I'm going to take the Golos. See? This is what I'm fucking talking This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Come on. I'll put Muldrifter on three. We'll treat him as a divination for now. We're going to try to draft a monocolored deck here for J Chart 1982. I think we're on the right track. Sower is good. All right. I would also count bribery as a gotem. The problem is that I, I really need to actually talk to. Uh, I need to ask Frag, Frag Camper. Frag Camper. Oh, Unis Joker, what's going on, my dude? Travis, good seeing you, buddy. Um, the two win conditions is really throwing me because, like, is Muldrifter a win condition? Is bribery a win condition? Is Sower of Temptation a win condition? I don't know. This pack is pretty rough. I guess we can actually portion the Legionnaire and just cast it still. I don't hate it. I'm trying to get some stipulations done, so. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mike moved with me because, like, our, we were in the same house and our lease was up at the same time. So, like, Mike didn't have anywhere to go. So, can you explain the step? I just typed it in the chat. Must draft a monocolored deck. That's it, man. There you go here. Um. Yeah, Mike just, I mean, like, Mike's, so, like, our friend Jake, who we live with right now, was like, we have, I have an extra couple rooms if you guys want to move in here. And so we're both like, okay. And, like, when Katie's still doing her intern slip sh internship slash residency, um, you know, it's just easier for three of us to get a place than for two of us. It'd be weird if you didn't take your son with you. It's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, I'm currently in Mountain Daylight Time. Is that what it's called? Let me take a Liliana. Yikes. Okay. Take a Vindicate. I mean, it's a decent seven cards. Like, Plus, like, I'm moving to a different place, right? Like, I'm moving to a different state, and then I'm moving to another different state. So, like, that's a lot of moves. And, like, it's nice to have a friend that you've known and, like, that, that you're comfortable with to, to go with you, you know? Like, that's just... I don't know if we're going to be able to continue this tip, unfortunately. Moving is the worst. You are not kidding. <sighs> Take big brims. Oh, the mana tide came back. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're off. Ah, dang it. No stip. 
abort, abort. Well, I mean, it's definitely possible we just don't play these, right? Like, that's definitely an option. Big Kazi. It doesn't do anything, though, right? Mono white time? Yikes. Yikes. Thirst would be good. We have no, like, artifacts other than Golos. I think it's just Frost Titan here, which is really not a great pick. I don't think balance is power. I think it's good, but I, I definitely don't think it's on the same level as, like, even the, the secondary power, like, Soul Ring, Demonic Tutor. Hmm. This pack's actually pretty tough. It's not Signet. I don't think it's... Maybe it is Signet. I don't think it's better than Frost Titan. I think it's Frost Titan. Because I think we can still keep the... <laughs> Wildfire? We don't have a single red mana. Or a, an artifact. I mean, we have literally nothing. I think it might just be Thirst. And we'll see if the Wildfire comes back. And we can take Ponder. Oh, Mystic Confluence? Jeez, now you're... Now you're now you're talking my language. Okay. Maybe we're back on board. Alright. Let's do it. Unease Joker, that's definitely not a sentence. Uh, no, I did not bring my third roommate because that, he, I mean, he just, like, he's, he's, like, just, he's, we're not as good as friends as me and Mike, so. Treasure Crew, or Narset, rather? Yeah, well, it's Narset, because then we can get Time Twister in the third pack. Or, like, right now when someone passes it to us, because it's undervalued. Gifts Ungiven. Nickel Bolas? I'm off it again. Ugh. Freaking Catacombs, I guess, is a thing. <sighs> it's rough. This is the worst part, like, when you're trying to do a step, and then it's like, nope. Not gonna happen. I mean, Scrubland is fine. I guess this is just a pick, right? Charter Course is okay. High Tide's interesting. In a mono blue deck, High Tide could definitely, like... I think I just like Charter Course here. Drawing two is nice. I definitely do only value Time Twister with an Arse that early of old. It's 100% true. I do not think it's very good otherwise. High Tide would be dope, sad face. Oh, Jace, the... Uh, the Vryn's Prodigy. <sighs> See, the problem with this deck is, like, we're probably going to lose. We don't have many counter spells. We do have two Steely Boys. Another Steely Boy. The High Tide also might come back. If no one is in Storm, we might just get a High Tide back. Who is Vryn? That's actually a good question. Is Vryn a place? Or is it a character? Let's take Emrakul, because if that high tide comes back, we could have a thing. What do we take over high tide? Charter course? <laughs> See, the thing is, like, the reanimate decks also like charter course, because it's like draw two and discard a card. Also, if we get big fat Emrakul, like 15 mana Emrakul, we could definitely show and tell. Where is Mike? Mike is in bed. Mike has to work in the morning. <laughs> Kozilek came back. Alright. I mean, if we have high tide and six mana, we can cast a Kozilek, so... Oblivion Stone as well. I don't hate Maze of Ith. We were I was I was telling Mike to never show and tell, but the thing is like this is a much more restrictive deck. 
And if we don't have counter spells like dissolve and dissipate and disallow and all the disses. If we don't have dis counter spell, getting out of here. Yeah, I'll take Oblivion Stone. Which spell? This one, you know, this one. Well, that's nothing good. I'll take Elspeth Conquer's Death because it's just a very good card. That up dog spell is busted. What up dog? Spell. Treasure Cruise. Sword of Body and Mind seems good. That's a win con. Yeah, let's take Sword of Body and Mind. Also, you're a two drop. Don't don't get it twisted. It's also another card to this card to thirst if we really want to. Phil, have a good night, buddy. Stay safe, please. Hmm. I don't think High Tide's coming back, my dudes. Thinks is revelation. I got so excited about the high tide. Arcane Artisan would be nice though. Riptide is right. Oh, Glenelinger Archmage is nice here. Seems good. I like Ancient Tomb too, but I think Glen is more important in a deck like this. Blank email. Have a good night, buddy. <coughs> it's definitely possible to slow the twister here. Opposition. Ugh, God. We're passing Gristlebrand, too. That's pretty brutal. Unfortunately, we're definitely not an opposition deck in any way, shape, or form. I think it's just Spell Pierce. And a second pick Spell Pierce is not exciting. But we're definitely trying to mono... Mono color this bad boy. And I think it's definitely possible to get some, some decent picks here. Um, unfortunately, Emrakul and Kozilek are looking rough right now. We do have a Mox, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, I had Muldrift in the 3-drop spot. I guess it moved when I... I'll actually shift these by converted mana cost now because we have more of everything. Mullen 3, Porcelain in 2. Oh, that's a better looking curve. Mana leak. <sighs> Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, I'll take a mana leak. This is, this is the counter spells I wanted here. Spell Pierce, mana leak. Galenalendra. I think our first three picks were counter spells here, so. Turnabout. 
Thassa's Oracle. Those are the blue cards. Oh man, if we had High Tide and Turnabout, we'd have a deck, my dudes. Uh, where X is the number, don't put one of them under your. This is just a 1 3 for 2 that does a little scrying. It's not terrible. It does also wear a sword, so. You know, that's the worst you can do. What's realistic? Like, Planeswalker's not that realistic. Instant, sorcery, maybe. Creature, artifact. Oh, counterspell. A legit counterspell. Yes. 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 Now we're talking. I actually think Porcelain Legionnaire is pretty reasonable in this deck. We're going to see some mono v mono. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Dig through... Oh, Azorius Signet seems great here, actually. I think it's better than Dig Through Time when we already have Consecrated Sphinx, Mystic Confluence, Thirst. Plus, it's a card we can discard. And it's another card we can just play off Porcelain Legionnaire. Plus, it's a card we can play on turn turn one with a Mox Pearl, so... Remand or Worn Power Stone? <sighs> dig might actually will. Definitely true. Definitely true. People don't value Dig very highly. I think it's Worn Power Stone in this deck. So you're saying Remand, but I'm saying like a Worn Power Stone on three lets us untap, play Golos, Sphinx, Mystic Confluence, or Bribery. And I think that's a lot stronger. These two are still on the chopping block so far. <laughs> Warrant Repower re Stone. Repeal? Okay. I mean, we're getting some cards here. <coughs> Smuggler's Copter? Did you do anything? I think Mutavault's actually pretty good in the, in the, mono de the monocolor deck, for sure. We have ten creatures... I don't think that's enough for a smuggler's copter. But maybe. You know what? I'll take it. I think 10's probably okay. Vault wears a sword. So does smuggler's copter. Opposition and gush. Yeah, we're definitely not an opposition deck, but we could be gushing. <laughs> I'm just gushing for this card. Alright, we're going to put all three of these in the sideboard for now. I don't, I don't love them. Also, if they try to like... Brain freeze this. We can bring Kozilek in. Palancron. We can play Spectral for six. Actually, no, it's not. It's still a... It's, is this a colorless card? It's a white card, but like, does that put us out of monocolored? Yeah, it probably does. I'll take Palancron. I'll take Turnabout. All right. So what you're saying here is basically that if we... Uh, if we took that high tide, we'd actually have a, some pretty some pretty crazy stuff going on here. Man, Dig did not come back. All right, all right. So this looks like our 25, right? Um, This is colorless, the same way like a dismember is colorless, like... I don't know, I guess it works the same way with Spectral Procession, right? I don't know. I would never consider, like, Dismember or Porcelain Janair not making a deck monocolored, you know? Um, so this is 23. The only thing we're really missing is, like, Kozilek and Emrakul. I kind of like Kozilek, but I don't know, like, we have Power Stone, Signet. I think we actually kind of want Kozilek in here, right? I don't think we want to show and tell the big bigs, but it's just so bad. But what if it's good? Also, our white cards are pretty good. Elspeth Conquers Death, Elspeth Sun's Champion, Sphinx's Relation, 
face fetters, brim as blade splicer, like. <clears throat> Oh, what up, Chris? What do we cut for it, though? I like that our mana base is literally just Mox Pearl 16, uh, 16 islands. No for you. We just 41 it with a one Kazi. I kind of like this. I mean, we can take Smuggler's Copter out. We have nine creatures, and one of them is a Kozilek. Shut up and take my money. You're blue. <laughs> Tabu <Tee> Tabu die. <laughs> oh, I feel sixty-five. Thank you so much for the for the for the for the for the donation. I was like lost my words there. Um, I can see cutting Smuggler's Copter. Like. Shut up and take Did my money. Fat Boofy, I'm fat. <laughs> oh dear God. Yeah, we'll take out Chopper. I don't think I don't think Smuggler's Copter is that great here. All right, Mono Blue. We're doing the Mono Blue for good old J Chart. What happened to Mike? Did you eat him? No, unfortunately. Un fortunately. I don't eat other human beings. Or do I? Hmm. I'll keep this hand. I had fat boofy. I love you. We all do, buddy. We all do. Okay. Counterspell Mana Leak. Uh, we're shuffling this. These guys all suck. Okay. <coughs> I'll draw with my Library of Alexandria. What stips are in the queue? I got like three, I think, left. Four. But we got a bunch of... A bunch of drafty boys coming. Oh, Narset seems good against them, but I guess they could just do it in our turn, so. Did we figure out Mutavault? No, we didn't draft a Mutavault. We took, uh... <clears throat> I think we might have taken Smuggler's Copter over Mutavault, actually. Because I think it looked like we had enough creatures, and then we didn't. Oh, because we didn't... We had Emrakul and Ulamog in the deck. Right? So that was that was artificially inflating our creature count. T Bombadil's like, I didn't ask how many, buddy, I asked which ones. Oh, they're just discarding without hitting a second land? Wild. Oh, it's easy, do. Let's hit a counter spell. Control magic and three islands. Bye, bye, bzzz, do, 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 do. Yep. Yep. I mean, even with your library, you're still just discarding your value and can't play all of your lands, so I don't know what to tell you. So much for their library. I can steal two of their things. Wild. No. Oh. Yeah, they're getting no value out of their library if they're just literally discarding the cards they draw. And not hitting lands, dude. Looting library is so much less exciting. It's true. Presumably we can hit a counterspell here. We have Spell Pierce, Counterspell, Mana Leak. Why'd you have to go off and die? Ooh, counterspell. 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 
<clears throat> what are we discarding here? Just an island, I think. Maybe. I mean, they could drop their animation spells if they want. I'm game. Um... Yeah, I'll just discard an island. Drove my ship to the living but the living was dry. Yeah, Kermit, they're, act they're just activating on our turn instead because it says only one card a turn. So they can just draw on our turn instead. You're gonna discard again. Oh wow, what is happening right now? Metamorpho. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Let's see what you got. Okay, seems good. You got triple blue. Can't remand. You're just gonna draw again? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, it's 25 to 25, so our Narset is, has drawn us an equal number of cards, I guess, in our Ponder, so. <clears throat> I feel like we never have to play a spell again now for the next 10 turns. We'll just win off this. Plague Crafter. Okay. Yeah, I'm sacking this because I want the Narset active so that they can't draw on their turn. <coughs> I think having Narset have to active long term is probably better than not, but I guess they could just draw on our turn again, so... Singing this will be the day that I die. Well, 19 turns, boys. Where's a bribery against this deck? <clears throat> yeah, they could also have, like, Thirst for Knowledge or, you know, Frantic Search or something to discard. Like, Narsa could be doing a lot more work than we can see. <clears throat> yeah, I was definitely considering repealing the Narset, to be honest with you. Go for the throat. Go for the trot. Eh, I mean, that's life. If we draw on land, we can Muldrift or keep up Counterspell, which is just fine. I mean, they still took all this. This still used up a plague crafter, and I go for the throat. Obviously, card advantage is not as good when they still have a full grip and they're discarding at the end of their turn. But hmm, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. This is eight mana. We're almost at uh, what's that card's name? Kozilek mana. <clears throat> they drawn again. Maybe they mill themselves. Go for the throat, a.k.a. Sunny D. Sunny D, I'll go for your throat. See, this seems obnoxious. Sure. <clears throat> I 
one, two, three. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. I'm pretty sure EOT, we're going to keep it Mr. Confluence, but then we're also going to repeal our Narset at the end of their turn. Is the counterspell art a picture of a little boofy? <laughs> yeah, that's him in prison. <clears throat> you can see the prison walls behind him. Um, yeah, I got control magic, so that's good. I actually kind of want to just keep up repeal or uh, keep keep repeal now because I don't think it's super vital. I targeted the wrong spell. <laughs> yep, that's pretty bad. <sighs> that's pretty brutal. That was just a misclick. Yeah, I mean, they don't get the mana, I guess, but, like... They also wouldn't get it if we targeted their mana drain. And we'd have this. Yeah, I was like, wait, why is it asking us if we want to pay three? And I was like, oh, wait. I made a mistake. I mean, I guess we six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we still have Kozilek like we got to draw two. Still have Sower. I don't know. Like, that's pretty fucking brutal, though. Yeah, you get one of three cards, I guess. We still get Sower. kind of rough <sighs> that's so funny too because like it just wouldn't like that's it's another one of those things just don't happen in real life you know like that's never gonna happen in a real game of magic i'll counter my own control magic and they're like are you sure and i'm like yeah and then it resolves and you're like oh wait no yep and then narset goes away Oh, God, that was such a... Yeah, so... Yeah, so we lost an Narset. Lost a Control Magic. Did not gain a Thief of Sanity. Pretty bad. Interesting. Let's see what you got here. Urza, Freebooter, and Frost Titan. What is this deck? Weird. Move you. Weird. <clears throat> Urza actually seems pretty decent. Let's us get another mana. Actually, Freebooter's nice here because we can see what they have and make sure the coast is clear for our Sower of Temptation. Deluge, Downfall, gr <laughs> So, okay, you have multiple answers. Got it. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
sounds good. And you have a Grave Titan in hand? Cool. Oh, boy. <clears throat> and the coast was not clear. I guess we'll take Brutality. And we have no incentive not to use this, right? So, Like, there's no world where, like... So they have to Heroes Downfall this. So what do we know? We know Collector Brutality, Grave Titan, Deluge. Oh, and Heroes Downfall. For sure. <clears throat> yep, and that was why we got rid of that. So now we know these three cards. So creatures, they have Sower, which is great now, because now they can get our Sower. But we can just bounce it for, like, one mana. <clears throat> sure. Sounds good. S. Corbett, have a good night, buddy. And here comes a Gravy Boy. That Control Magic play was so huge. Mm, museum. Is it can this be a legitimate win condition if we don't die? Oh wow, that's really fascinating. Oh, plus they're going to hit us for three and we can thirst for knowledge. Oh, man. It's going to be real close. <sighs> I mean, we're going to... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll block here. Like, if they play Sower, we just bounce it. Like, if they bring back Sower from the graveyard. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to go to three cards. We're going to lose three to this, three to this. Repeal is four. So was that one? Four, six, seven. Draw for the turn is eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> Hope they don't hit something. Uh, let's discard two cards, land, land. <clears throat> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Guys. 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 Thassa's Oracle, guys. 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 Wow, the thief did help us win. I was here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, they could have stolen the Oracle. Alternatively, we could have played... Um, we could have played Consecrated Sphinx first, but I was I was concerned with not, um, I was concerned with not having enough mana if they hit a mana leak off of our. Well, we don't have remand. They could have had remand, but we didn't have remand. I kind of like gush here. No, I don't. Yeah, I think we're just going to submit like this. Oh, man, that's wild, dude. They also have Languish, Damnation. Like, they have a bunch of cards that don't seem great against us. Poopy Stone. Poopy St Warren Power Stone did a ton of work that game. It was last in the Living Cast Cast. Four mana and five mana spells in the same turn. <laughs> yeah, this is a keeper. He's like super, I super misplayed last game. I'm like, dude, you want to talk about, you want to talk about misplays. I will keep this hand. I didn't want to say anything. I appreciate it. <clears throat> The Ziggs, have a good night, buddy. Don't inquisition me, bro. Don't do it. Come here, give me that mox. Mox, 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 they mana drained our control magic, and we played Mystic Confluence, targeting our control magic instead of their mana drain. So it got countered. And uh, we still drew two cards, and they didn't get to, uh, to get the mana for mana drain. So, you know, silver linings. But we did not get our control magic. And that was pretty bad. Uh, no, don't like that. No, don't like that. Scootin' doo doo in the world of days. Scootin' doo 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 doo. Scootin' doo 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 Oh yeah, see, now we're playing this so we can play Mystic Confluence next turn. And that's what's called living the dream. Especially when they don't have any blue. Ooh, brutal. Something's wrong with... Oh, that's blue. In the world today, I don't know what it is. Michael B. And I oh, I guess we could just play that. But they have so much removal. I think we just wait. <laughs> Merit is sleeping with suppliers. What does that even mean? That's such a random reference. Thank you. Really? This is what you're going to do with your life? God of Flesh with the resub. Thank you so much. Oh, Bobby Biscuits with the gifted sub, man. Thank you, dude. Um, What do you take? One of these two? That's actually fine. 
Oh, that's metallic-y. Really gets in your fillings. <laughs> From Gabe's homeland. Okay. Okay. I don't think we have to chart a course here, I'll be honest with you guys. I think we just wait. I mean, if we draw a counterspell next turn, we can go Consecrated Sphinx, keep a counterspell, which is super nice. Same with Mana Leak. Ugh, we know this is... Come on. All right, I'm going to choose the right one this time. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Golos. Golos gets us a... Uh, what's it called? An island. Definitely wish we had Mutavault at this point. They could have Plague Crafter here. Okay, that's fine. That's just fine. Like a true control deck, our goal is to protect this. 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana. That's wild. So now we get to chart a course, play Glenlanger. This is actually a pretty sweet control deck, to be quite honest. They do have Languish and, and Damnation. I don't know if they took them out or not, but... I'm not going to put too many dudes on the board. I mean, when your Golos gets the best land in Magic the Gathering, then it's kind of good, right? Island. <coughs> Islands in the stream. They kept it. They kept it. Okay, so now Consecrated Sphinx just comes down and we got double Glenelinger to protect it. Yeah, that's pretty good. So Glen stops two of the three cards in their hand if they're removal smells. Countering this actually does the same thing as not countering it, so... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Consecrate Sphinx. And we're going to draw during their turn, so I might as well maximize the number of potential lands we have access to. Yeah, I've watched The Office all the way through about six times. I really don't mind the Robert California episodes. I think I think they're they're way overblown. I think the hate for them is way overblown. You don't even know my real name. I'm the fucking Lizard King. This was the monocolored sip, yeah. I'm gonna draw two. Ooh, spell bears. Consecrated Sphinx has taken over this game. That is just fine. Golos can go. Los. There's just no scenario where I where I like consecrated Sphinx die. I'll never let you die. Who are these ladies? Who are these ladies? Consecrated Sphinx, play a little large mage. I think we can just play Jace here. Like, if they Damnation... They can, there's no way they can Damnation in a second spell at the, this turn, so... We can also repeal our Consecrated Sphinx. We have enough mana to do that. And uh, Spell Pierce, so... Andy was great when he was at... Um, 
the Nashua branch. But um, his character really changed when he hit when he hit Scranton. How do you beat a consecrated sphinx? Do you try to damnation? Worst case, you repeal sphinx. Yeah, that's true. And we still draw a card from that? That's wild. Are we going to be 1 0 with our. What is the alternative? You look at my hand. Do 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 do. I'm gonna actually counter this. Um, because I have one card, and if it's like go for the throw, we spell pierce it. So. Kapow! They have no cards in hand. I think I'm gonna get the GG soon. Realistically, we probably should have repealed this seven seven turns ago. Let's get... I don't know, something. Let's get Fallen Shinobi. I'm just going ham here. Let's discard. Eh, Island's fine. So if they have Damnation, it's actually pretty good. But then we just slam Mall Drifter. They also get to flip that guy. So. This is a turn I really kind of just let the shields down, I think. We also still have Jace. Did we not? We didn't plus Jace, did we? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, if they still have Damnation in the deck, like, it's pretty bad for us. Like, if they top deck Damnation. Lang. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, they kept in Deluge, Damnation, and Languish. That's pretty wild. I did forget to Jace. There was so much going on, guys. Also, our deck is so grindy, dude. Snap. Snap keep. A little less conversation, a little more action. A little less bark, a little more bite. A little less conversation, a little more, a little conversation, a little more action. What up, Zaychi? I see you grinding those steps. I'm, I got to. You guys have been supporting me like crazy this week. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so, man. That doesn't fly with me, my dude. Oh, that guy's not gonna. That guy's not gonna come down anytime soon. This is where they slam Questing Beast and we're like, Welp. Okay, that turn was not super exciting, but neither is our hand. 
So we got that going for us. A Worn Power Stone actually puts us pretty close to casting this Kozilek. We would go into uh, 8 mana next turn, followed by 9 mana. Okay. No attack with a Raging Ravine. Fuck, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, I guess we should have attacked there, though. That's okay, I don't want to attack, I guess. Hey, Frank, played last match. Couldn't draw an honest save my life. Yeah, J JR, good games, man. Uh, you're, um... Yeah, alright. That seems okay. I like being able to bounce our, uh... Our Glenelendra if need, if need be. Why attack when you can use it to convoke a court of calling? Lightning strikes. What's the deal with that? <laughs> Draw two cards, cast it on you. And this could be bad if they have a second form of rule, but considering they're flashing it. Oh, fuck, come on, dude. Seriously? Well, now we don't get to draw the cards, unfortunately. <sighs> Stupid. Yep. Yep, that was a heck of a turn. I mean, the problem with just, like, letting it resolve is that we have no pressure, so it's like... I mean, they're going to have an active Jace, and we're going to have, like, no pressure, so it's not really ideal. Yep. <laughs> I mean, in two turns, we can either cast Kozilek or we'll draw some spells, so... We've definitely gotten out of stickier situations. <laughs> the K-Man. <laughs> That's... We'll see. <sighs> oh, God. What an actual joke. I need cause like more than I need eighth mana, so I don't know if we draw like Yeah, this game is fucking Christ. Yeah, this game kinda got away from us. I don't think that's great here. Okay. I'm like I'm like blown away by like how bad that Mystic Confluence turn was.
Oh, did they not attack with Raging Ravine? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. The old Activate Raging Ravine, don't attack? Or did they attack? Why was it untapped? Oh, because they untapped. Never mind. I'm dumb. Yeah, this is just the end. Yeah. That was pretty silly. Oblivion Stone doesn't seem terrible against them. They have a bunch of things. Man, Spell Pierce on Bitter Blossom. It's just... God, I missed the Confluence, man. Do we just show and tell? Like, it doesn't feel like they have a bunch of creatures. What if we try to show and tell? Is that greedy? We're gonna risk it, man. Okay, you know what? Let's draw... A big fat idiot in the first two turns. I don't care about that. <laughs> okay, well, let's thirst. Don't care about any of these guys. I would have definitely made a food there. I think taking two is definitely worth making a food. Because at worst you gain the life back, but at best you get like another mana source. Oh, mono green things, huh? I mean, we're going to discard the sword because we don't actually have any creatures here. And we're just trying to hit trying to Kozilek off the top, right? You know, I think that's actually probably pretty good. All right, here we go. It's 50-50, right? deal <laughs> it's got trample and protection from instance it's pretty good yeah sword of indecent I just, I, there's no two cards i wanted to get rid of i think i think our hand is pretty good since our deck doesn't seem to be okay i mean if they control it we can just sow her okay time walk ramming up sure makes me think you might have like strip mines and things gonna control magic my dude I'm just waiting fuck come on dude Yep. 
time walk into Jace the Mind Sculptor with one card left. Guess you got me. Thank you. It's pretty brutal. Super Fritz, thank you so much for the for the gifted sub, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Three card types, if they kill Narset, it's four card types. Which makes Emrakul actually castable at that point. Did they just draw three with Narset out? Oh, baby. Put your hand back on top. Literally draw zero, put two cards back. Oh, yes. You done messed up, AA Ron! Oh, man. We're living the dream in this draft, guys. Oh, jeez. The old didn't read your opponent's cards. Gotcha. Oh, biscuits. Now he's just going to attack out of anger. He's like, oh. Kill it. Is this seven mana? I mean, we're really looking for, um, we're looking for Oblivion Stone. That's why I boarded it in. That's not it. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Six, seven. This is five. This is one. Take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a lot. I mean, we're trying to miss the confluence and draw some cards just to Oblivion Stone. Oblivion Stone is pretty good against them, but they still have Lumbering Falls, unfortunately. I think we're just probably dead this round. This round. Sometimes you take the moral victory when your opponent uses Jace when you have Nar set out, so. Leroy Jenkins! Oh, this is nice that they didn't attack with, uh, this actually gives us some breathing room. That's rough, because now they can activate Raging Green. Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, come on. <sighs> Four card types in the graveyard, so you cost nine and we have eight. I mean, if we control my juice, we're just going to tap it, so we're not going to get a blocker out of it. And it's not an attacker, so I'm more concerned with getting an extra blocker out this turn. I'm really struggling for dear life here. <sighs> of course. It's always right before you feel like you're almost there. 
Yep. Oh, this is a snapper. This is a beautiful hand. Oh, the Dean of Clean. The Dean of Clean is a regular uh, stream viewer and subscriber. And I actually literally have a stipulation from the Dean of Clean in the stipulation queue. It'd be pretty hilarious if this was his, right? I mean, I think our first round with the first turn Thassa's Oracle and then like the 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 second game which I guess was also good. <laughs> I mean, like, this... I think this has been a pretty sweet stipulation already, so... <laughs> You're on the draw, buddy. You got this. Yeah, we're definitely playing Warren Powerstone on three, because then on four we can play Glenelendra and keep up the... The counter, the counter love. Oh no. Oh no. What an awkward turn of events. Wow, that's a hell of a mold of three or mold of five. Sort of fire and ice is pretty good against this. It's a pro blue sword, guys. I don't even think I want to loot here. I think our hand is good enough to keep. I think we actually we can now we can pitch a an island pretty easily. We can also just pitch Jace to be quite honest with with Caracas on board. I'm not sure we're gonna have. A ton of luck with the Jace. No, we can't. We're going to draw and discard first. Yeah, Caracas is actually a, a beating in this cube. I mean, our, our hope is that, like, they play a creature before they're able to equip it, and then we can steal it. Sort of fire and ice against the mono blue deck. Yikes. Like, not only do we not have a way to deal with it. It's also the perfect color. Eh. I mean... <laughs> that's... I'd rather have one in activation than two, so. Or no, than none, rather. I definitely would rather have one than, than two. That would be silly.
What does this get? They have one card in hand. I feel like this is definitely counterable. Mana leak. Let's leak some manuses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana. That's really good. All right, well, our deck is doing what we want it to do. Oh, man. Don't mana tithe me. Don't be like mana tithe mind twist. That'd be so comical. Oh, good gravy. Every time I draw Mystic Confluence, I'm just like, oh yeah. Because it's very good. Ponder, Thirst. Um, They're both going to net us one card at this point. But Ponder's cheaper. Yeah, we're just going to take Ponder and play it right now. Sower Repeal Sphinx. Um... I will keep all of this. Sower, Sphinx, repeal on top so I can draw it. That's, whew, that's. So we got four, five, six, seven mana free. Yeah, Sphinx is a hell of a card. <laughs> that's going to be good next turn. Oh, boy. <sighs> Time on my hands. Laughing like biscuits up in the triscuits. Bit of a nonbo with Narsa. Yeah, you can only You can only draw two cards a turn. Let's move my chair a little bit. And so this rats. Um, I'm actually tempted to repeal here. Mm, no. One, two, three, four, five. Is this worth it? Like, we need to hit three more lands, and we know a Sower is on top, right? So, I, I think we just have to slam this. Ugh, come on. You have two cards. <sighs> yeah. Was that it? Was that like the window? Oh. And then they get to equip it. To oh, they didn't equip. Oh, thank goodness. That's great for us. Oh, yeah. That's just fine. God. I feel like I got greedy. Oh, man. That's much worse than just equipping. We still have Kozilek in our deck? I mean, if they try to do that again, we got Mystic Confluence now, so... Yes. 
And this would actually let us draw two, which is really what I want to do. This will let us draw two, which is really what I want to do. I don't understand the not equipping here. Like it's the same, it's actually six damage instead of four. You know? No blocks. Counterspell is what we wanted to see. Same with Porcelain Engineer, so. We can still bounce the sword if they want to equip. You got greedy, Martin. That used to be on the soundboard. That's a solid meme. This was unfortunate. We got greedy. We got greedy as well, I think. Angel. We get to flip Jace. Okay, yeah, you can have this. Oh, wow. Oh, it's all happening, guys. I'll take this creature right now, right now. Buttery. <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> Serving them up. All right, now we're going to flip this, which is just great. Discard you. Now we got a planey boy. We can Mystic Confluence or Ponder. I'm just going to plus here. Play a land. A Sunday morning. None of these are legendary. Keep it in mind. So a lot has changed since yesterday. That's never a thing that I'm going to let you do. That's terrifying. Let's go to the next game. Well, okay then. <laughs> I already gave you my Consecrated Sphinx. What more can you take from me? I almost wonder if Palakron is better than, like, Kozilek, because it's free. It's basically free, right? I thought I knew you well. So well, do 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 You came in with the dream. Sans iffy, but we got a control magic and a mully for three. I think this hand is keepable.
check this real quick. Hold on one second now. Okay. Just had to. Yep, we'll keep. Both on seven. It's a whole different ball game. I thought I knew you were. Real Scythe, have a good night, buddy. All right, that's actually a pretty significant turn three draw if they don't play anything fancy. Oh, wow. <gasps> this is it, dude. I'll take it. <laughs> it's awkward. Okay. It's not the worst. What up, Gallagher? So I'm glad we didn't put Consecrated Sphinx or Meldrifter into play. We could play Control Magic and then we just, just stole this. Which I think is pretty pretty good. Oh, the old double mox deck, huh? On Sunday, counterspell one time, counterspell. That's that's not, it's not what we're looking for here. So well. I mean, if they get rid of this, this goes back to our hand. So it's kind of like a nice, it's a nice, uh, what do you call it? Insurance policy, we'll say. I thought I knew you were. So we just get our card back. One, two, three. They can still... I'm still like... I still don't want this anguished unmade. I think it's probably more important to play Spell Pierce... You thought Sower was legendary? I think you're thinking of Vendillion Click, my dude. Vendillion Click is legendary. Oddly enough, Vendillion Click is like one of the only legendary fairies. Mistbind Click isn't. Uh, the 1-1 one, one Stout, whatever that dude is. The, one, the Scion of Una, that guy's not legendary. Very few of the fairies are legendary, surprisingly. Is that our win con again? I don't think so. Actually, we'll play this. None of these actually do anything. Um, put up to one of them on top? No. I mean, we just got to win before this Creeping Tar Pit does, which is fine because they're using their turns, but like... I mean, also, this is an extra turn, basically, because it just comes down and if they kill it, they can't also attack, so...
cat cam. Do 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 do. Little man cam. I mean, we can't counter that, so. Okay. Oh, but this can't attack either now, so that's great. And all I got is floaty boys. I saw Mulder and thought, man, this must be the real Frank Laporte. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, no. What? No. Oh, the old Wifferino, huh? Three cards. I can't I can't risk it yet. We can just we can just find a more solid counter spell. I think Hunter's over there grumbling to himself. Again, no. This is why we keep this thing up, man. Okay. One legitimate counter spell, and we're going to be consecrating. One, two, three, four, five, six. That, that's not necessarily it. Actually, how much do I have on here? Oh, yeah. I like Ulamog here. Oh, he can't attack, though. Let's not get a legendary creature that can bounce. Mm -hmm. Anguished on making is still in the deck. Damnation is not. So they could have Damnation in hand. None of these cards are great against Damnation, though. I said Olamog doesn't fly. I'll take Thief. I think that seems fine. I wish we had one more mana, though, so we can bounce the Palancron in case they do have Damnation here. It's going to be rough. Uh... Verdant was in the deck, so we can cross that dude out. That was their draw for the turn. Bayou, also gone. Oh, 
Oh, they did cast Damnation. Oh, now I feel much better. Oh, that feels great then. <laughs> All right. Oh, that feels worse. Oh, dang it. You getting rid of Thief? I would get rid of Thief. I would get rid of Thief. Isn't Damnation in the graveyard? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, I knew they I knew they had it. I knew they had the card Damnation. I just forgot which game they played it in. Oh lord. Seven, eight, nine, ten were one away from me feeling safe. I'm just gonna keep up uh you boy. I'm gonna keep up Mystic Confluence and Palancron. Attack Vraska, attack your Faccio. I'm going to win this game with Consecrated Sphinx in our hand. We got Lethal on board in a Mystic Confluence, so I'm pretty sure Consecrated Sphinx is just sitting on the bench this game, my dude. 2 1 with the stipulation, man. Thank you so much, JChart 1982. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, this is mono blue enough for you. And uh, check out manatraders.com. No, dude, don't do it. They have an amazing subscription service. You can get 20% off your first three months with the link and promo code down below. Manatraders.com. They're awesome. Also, check out patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. It's a great way to support the channel for like one or two bucks a month. If you don't want to spend like $5 for a Twitch sub or whatever, one or two bucks a month is a great way to support on Patreon. And... um Let's get in there. Let's bring it home. Head on over to twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. You can also support there by following or subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. And uh, coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. You can find new articles for me. And you can also use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off. And that'll do. 2-1. Not too bad with a stipulation deck. Don't attack with Nighthawk. It's black. That's fair, actually. Or Porcelain Legionnaire, but I couldn't attack. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.